So here's an example of the alarm event monitor. The operator has in their browser a listing of any of the alarms that would be coming in. Here we've got the Vermeer Great Plains site. Uh, it's letting us know that we've got an active alarm that began at 1.36. There's an open batch of seven different alarms that have come in. And when we click on it, it gives us a quick overview of uh, each alarm that's come in. It shows us what time and uh, 24 seconds after this last alarm, 26 seconds, 21 seconds, so we can see uh, the, uh, the timeline in which they occurred. You can click and play back that alarm clip and see what triggered the analytics. It just loops this five or 10 second video that you can pause uh, you can click the exclamation mark and it'll show you the the start of the uh, the alarm event the object that was detected and the direction that they took you click the exclamation part again and it'll show you uh, just another view from shortly after the alarm event occurred up here you can select <clears throat> the daylight reference so if you need an idea of what the uh, what the camera view should look like perhaps there's a piece of equipment that is no longer there that would be in, important to know you can also select this best shot which gathers uh, out of this 10 second clip the best image of the uh, object that triggered the alarm next is the investigate button when you click investigate it will take you to a map overview of the facility with the cameras positioned how they uh, how they are actually in real life mounted on the building and the direction that they're looking and from here <clears throat> you can drag and drop if you want to view one of these cameras the live view uh, depending on your bandwidth you can display uh, as many as five cameras at a time and this allows the operator or the person responding to the alarm here at the station to be able to evaluate what's going on uh, they can also activate uh, some real-time actions. Uh, as you see here, we've created an option to email the owner, to send an email notification, uh, but maybe more importantly would be to uh, perhaps play an audio warning. Uh, with, if there's a speaker attached on site to the camera, then you can click that and play a, an, an automated message. We do have the option for two-way audio as well. Um, I should say one-way audio if you click on the microphone then you can project audio from uh, a microphone on your computer to do uh, talk down live talk down audio uh, to give instructions to <clears throat> an individual at site whether it's uh, an employee or an intruder there's other actions you can take as well uh, by uh, by clicking on these you can open a relay on a camera which may be connected to a gate or to turn on a light uh, or really any other device that um, you would want to activate here remotely. The snooze button is in place in case uh, this action is, as we saw here, is an employee. Um, perhaps they come in after the regularly scheduled hours. So you can snooze uh, if you know the person's going to be on site for 10, 20, 40 minutes, one hour. Uh, just click on the snooze button. And then, I don't want to do that. And then from here, we can, uh, uh, we can verify and then uh, discard the uh, the event say we we no longer are concerned about this we can push this back into uh, the queue and go back to normal operating